I'm gonna go scout and see if uh, Hecarim's starting blue. Just get some info. Oh wow, top laner actually standing where he's supposed to. A lot of top laners don't stand right here, even though you should if you're on that side. But a lot of people don't do that. So Hecarim's starting red. That means we can expect an early top gank around three minutes. Which means I'll try to go for a cold push. I win the trade since I landed E. I should always win trades early if I land E. So early game against Mord, I'm really just trying to not let him farm with auto attacks. Just always making Q like that to farm. Only in the very early game though. Like levels one and two, sometimes three. Depends how the lane is going. All right, well, we actually got a preformed cane gank. That's super rare. Let's get this wave pushed in, get a call back. This is a really good back time. This wave will take him a while to clear. And Hecarim's top set anyway, so. Don't want to mess with the Ghost Hecarim. What do you think about Ignite into Mord? Uh, it's good for the 1v1. But then you just give up TP plays like him. But it's definitely not bad if you want to play more for the 1v1. Extinct ice cream. Thank you for the prime, dude. I appreciate it. Boots cloth armor. That isn't too bad, actually. I'm not too scared until he gets death realm. Once he gets death realm, I pretty much never want my wave to be right here outside his turret. That's the big thing against Mord. So I'm walking in my wave to make him cue the wave just to push. Staying in your wave is really good against Mord because you also don't want to get hit by isolated cues, but you also want him to push. Like, that's perfect. I want him to keep doing that. Especially since we're coming up on level 6. If you can't push a wave, you have to force them to push the wave, basically.
Oh wow, that got me. Wow, nice kill. That worked out pretty nice. So yeah, number one thing against Mord, like I don't mind if he death realms me right there because I'm just near my turret, right? You just don't want to get a death realm out, like out in the lane. That's when you'll pretty much always die versus Mord. Mm. He has no ulti. I can maybe try to bait something here. Either just bait or get the wave pushed in while Kane is here. He's probably not going to want to fight with Death Realm down, would be my guess. Can't DP on that, sadly. You know what? We're going to do this. I'm going to try to go for another kill. A little bit risky, but we'll see what we can do. I'm in a pretty good spot for the uh, level 9 fight. Or for a possible level 9 fight. Tibbers might get him. Yeah, that thing gets pissed, man. When Annie dies. I love that interaction. They need to make Yarek's Maiden do that, man. Maiden just gets like sad and just dies super quickly. Which I guess kind of makes sense. Oh my god, he has Bramble. Dude, it's like I'm playing versus a tank. He has Bramble Tabby D Shield. Ah, uh, his jungle's here. So, number one thing when you get Death Realmed is really just trying to sidestep Q. That's all you're trying to do versus Mord. Sidestep Q, sidestep E. Really hard to do on Ergot because you're so fat, but that's really just the only thing you gotta focus on. Just try to move weird. Dang, he's got red form already. Rough. Just ate that bullet time for dinner. If I was level 9, I would feel a lot more comfortable TPing on that. I think without W toggle, it goes pretty bad. Problem right now is really just as build. This build counters are got super hard in these levels. It's gonna fall off, but the armor is just too good right now. I'll probably go Cleaver second this game.
You're gonna see me, but maybe I can still snipe. Oh, nice. Honestly, we'll take that. I can already tell this is gonna be a game where I, I don't think I can die early game, like at all. If I start to fall behind, I think we just straight up lose this match. That's how it feels. But uh, I will say, we have good scaling. No no Annie gets outscaled by Victor, but all of our other lanes outscale. And honestly, Annie's not like bad. It's just Victor's insane right now. Just sitting on so much gold here. Might lose a wave for this, but I want to spend my gold because I want to look for a TP play right now. I don't want to TP on like over 2k gold. That E buffer is nice. Yeah, you want to buffer on Morty. You can do it either when you're just getting away from him, like I've been doing, or you can also do it to engage into him. Which I'll try to show you once I can actually fight him. This guy's not really throwing E whenever he's near my turret, which is a really good time to look for it. Like, if he's right here, for example, and he E's me, and I E off his E, I can fling him into turret. But he hasn't been doing that. Nice, that looks pretty good. Yeah, we got the conditioning, we got the call. We're gonna scale pretty heavily into this game. Do you kind of just ride his E into him like a wave? That's exactly what, what it's like, yeah. So you want to just like E right as you get hit by it. And it's basically just like you're doing a long range E, like it just gives you a boost. You'll see it once I do it, if it happens. I don't know, 1v1 is gonna be close, man. I probably need to land E on him right now to win. I can survive a death realm if Kane comes over, then I'd feel a lot more comfortable. Honestly, we just hard outplayed him there. That's what really holds Mord back as a champion. If people sidestep your abilities, you just don't win. In most cases. I got TP for this. I 
Uh, let's go Cleaver a second, actually. Yeah. We're fighting this. Oh man, MF does a lot of damage. I did my job in that fight though, for sure. Should be good. Wow, nice. Wait. Oh, she has Kraken Slayer? I'm thinking we can fight again here. Nice. Oh yeah, we're coming online. That's fine, we'll get bought here anyway. Am I streaming till midnight? Probably not. That is a long ways to go. I can try, but I'm not sure if I'll make it. Alrighty, let's get Cleaver. It's a big spike here. It's a really big spike in the Mord 1v1 right now, the way he's building. See what I mean, though? Like, he doesn't have Rift until 19 minutes. He still doesn't have it on this back, actually. That's crazy. Also, I don't need to build anti-heal this game. I normally would, but we have uh, Lulu with Chemtech Putrefy. It's usually enough anti-heals. And since I have a lead, I can I can beat Mord without anti-heal in the 1v1. Let's see if he finally E's me. I'm down to actually take a 1v1 now for sure. I kind of doubt he will E me aggressively. That is a snipeable Soraka. Got her flash. We'll take an ulti for flash. Much longer cooldown. That was a last second panic flash by the Raka man. I'm pretty sure if that was like even 0.1 second later, it would have been too late. He's got Rift now. I don't know if I can win without Grinder. Oh, jungle's here too. Alright, sadly they had the tribush warded. Whoa, 
nice. I didn't think she was gonna win that in the death round. Should be able to fight for Drag at least. I'm gonna wait for the stun here. I got that fear on Hecarim right in time. That was clutch. If she ultis, I'll E-Flash. Get that Baron. Dude, that MF has three items already. Do we have a smite? We do have a smite. Still kind of 50 50. We'll try to zone here. Ooh, that hurts. I don't know if he has death realm. I'm just gonna keep distance. I don't know if I wanna commit on that. Good luck, friends. Uh, in a game like this, let's see, we're pretty fed. Eclipse is sounding nice. Eclipse will be really nice for the uh, Mord Hecarim too. I've been just liking Eclipse if I get really fed, to be honest. It feels nice. The other mythic I was considering was a uh, Sunfire. I honestly don't think it'd be bad. But we already have Merc Treads. I have Unflinching plus Tenacity. Taking like no damage though. I just have so much MR, man. I have 160 MR. Conditioning, Hullbreaker, Merc Treads. Just all comes together. I only get the Hullbreaker resist if I'm 
in like a side lane by myself. But still, feels really nice. Whenever you have Hullbreaker and Baron buff, you have to like stand over here to buff up your cannon minions. Because they're such far range. Wow. Nice, GG. I welcome you. Siled F, thank you for the prime, dude. Appreciate it, man. The good streak continues into Mord. That matchup is really hard, though. Like, even with me doing pretty good in that matchup, I couldn't fight too much in that lane. It really came down to just managing waves and, like, never pushing near his turret. That was the biggest thing in that lane. I kept the wave near my turret, like, at all times. But yeah, even getting that solo kill, I still couldn't really fight him because of his build. I wish I could honor everyone there, but yeah, the whole team played well, and our team comp was good, too. This is one of the better team comps that I've had recently. Sold game. Freed by chains.